Okay, guys. Ryan, a longtime viewer of Fight Commentary Breakdowns, went to Taiwan and he met up with Silala, who you guys know, our famous Wing Chun and Xin Yi Liu He Quan guy. So Ryan does wrestling, jujitsu, and Taekwondo, and a little bit of Sanda, but his striking foundation, if you look, is very Taekwondo. But he's got grappling, right? So Chilala might not want to go in as much as Ryan's chin is very high, if you notice. But it's a common wrestler thing because if you lower your chin in many wrestling and jujitsu and judo type of takedowns, you might get an arm around your neck. That's why they have their chin looking up more. But not very effective in striking situations. Ooh, Chilala is doing some trapping. Ooh! In the pummeling range, Ryan's going to take him down. Nice, he got him. Took him down. Oh! Now it is fully mounted. They're doing King of Dragon rules, by the way. So, this 10 seconds on the ground. Silala managed to escape the armbar. So, our Meihua Chen guy, our dude, Mr. Gao, the ref, has stood them up. Um, so, Ryan's face is a little open. Ooh, little body jab. Oh, see that? Silala's taking advantage of Ryan's face being a little bit open. And, oh! Ryan's about to drop Chilala. Ooh, Chilala, good center. Hasn't been taken down yet. Ryan's taking his back. A classic wrestler slash jiu-jitsu thing. Nice. Nice. Ryan got side control. Um, probably not going to advance the position. No, never mind. Man, I'm underestimating Ryan, man. You know, once you're a wrestler, you're a jiu-jitsu guy, you're very formidable. Ryan also is a bodybuilder. He does a lot of deadlifting and Nordic curls and stuff like that. So... He's a different type of body shape than probably what you normally see in Taiwan. Ryan's Taiwanese American, by the way. So um, it's brethren on brethren. So Ryan cutting off Tilala's lead leg. Standard type of how do you fight a southpaw. Oh, that was some great Wing Chun that Tilala did. Oh, Tilala's lighting up, Ryan. Wow. Okay, Ryan trying. Ryan trying. Chin a little bit too high. Oh, oh, Chilala got him. Ryan reverses the position. Wow. Ryan got full mount again. The 10 second on the ground. King of Dragon rules is probably going to save Chilala again. Wow. Wow. Okay. So now. Nice. Woo. Again. In the trapping range, if you allow it to be trapping and not grappling, then Ryan loses out. Whoa! Okay, that exchange went to Chilala. Chilala just peppering him. Ryan trying to keep his guard, but now that he's using his hands to shield his face, he got swept by Chilala. So we are going to break this down. Ryan sent me some notes. So we're going to see if Ryan has any observations that are worth sharing. So we're going to break this down again. We're probably going to watch it slower to get any thoughts that Ryan has. All right. So we're going to watch this in 75%. 75% or 50%? 75%. Okay. Ryan Orthodox and Chilala Southpaw. Chilala, I know, sometimes does mix his stances. But a lot of Kung Fu styles like to train you Southpaw. Because if you're tend to be right dominant, most people, right? So why not put the hand and the feet that you use more effectively closer? You know, there's different philosophies. Um, Ryan showing his Taekwondo base here. At first, by the way, this is what Ryan told me. Um, at first, Ryan wasn't sure how much to go, like, power-wise. So that's why initially they're kind of more striking air, just making sure they're comfortable, not going too hard, but also sort of striking softly, but with a follow-through, right? So Chilala almost um, being light on his front foot like a Muay Thai guy. And Ryan always trying to cut off Chilala's lead foot, right? Which is a very, very good thing to do. So the first grappling they do, look at that. Ryan lifts him and mounts him. Look at that. And then this is where he goes for an arm bar. So this is where Ryan gives Chilala credit. He says that um, Chilala, even though it looks like maybe Chilala's not defending well, he's actually defending very well. He escapes that arm bar by getting his leg off his head, if you notice. That was effective. And I don't know if that was Wing Chun. That might have been just the very brief jujitsu training that Chilala's had. But maybe it's some kind of Wing Chun sensitivity. You never know. And so this is the second exchange. 
Ryan trying to jab at the body, but he kept his body way too open and Chilala goes in. Notice this is what Ryan said. Chilala is able to kind of look at this. This is like bully headlock position, right? And Chilala is able to strike from there. So that's something really cool that I think some Wing Chun guys have. And this is where Ryan tries to take him down a second time. And so also Ryan also gives Chilala a lot of credit for having a good base, right? It took a while for Ryan to take him down. And so now Ryan has side control. Ryan here, I didn't notice it when I was watching, but Ryan here is actually trying to go for an arm triangle. Oh, that makes sense. He moves to that side. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. He's trying to go for an arm triangle. I see. So I think he actually probably could have tapped Silala if it weren't 10 seconds on the ground. So next up, we're going to see another clinch exchange soon. Um, that kind of uh, sidekick, skipping sidekick from Taekwondo. Um, interesting how Ryan's other hand, his power hand, is a little bit more out to my liking, but it's fine. So look at the sensitivity. Oh, look at that. The Wing Chun trapping range, the sensitivity. So now it's a clinch situation. And Ryan's giving Chilala credit for being able to defend the clinch well. And here, Chilala actually throws Ryan, but Ryan reverses it. And this is another mount situation that will get stood up. We're about to see at around soon, we're about to see Chilala light up Ryan and then see that? Use all those barrages of strikes to then take down Ryan. So this was a situation where we noticed Ryan kind of shelled up a little, but look at Chilala just lighting him up with various angles and strikes and ultimately foot sweeping him. So that was very effective use of Wing Chun. Look at that, Ryan shelling up, right? But look at that. When you shell up, you're more tense, right? Yes, you're more protected, but actually shelling up sometimes doesn't help you. It makes you less reactive. It makes your reflexes less quickly. And Chilala took advantage of that. Chilala took advantage of Ryan being tense and shelling up because Chilala is very loose, if you notice, right? He's very relaxed, so... Guys, always try to relax when you fight, man. It's a very important thing. Breathe and relax. Look at how much more relaxed Chilala is. Of course, guys, Ryan's a wrestler, right? Wrestlers just have that immense, like, bear pressure, but it's not always effective in a striking context like here. So big shout out to Ryan and big shout out to Chilala. That was awesome. For those of you who don't seem to see any Wing Chun or don't seem to see any wrestling or don't seem to see any Jiu Jitsu or don't seem to see any kickboxing, you probably don't even see yourself in the mirror anyways. So <laughs> anyways, guys, hope you guys like this. Talk to you guys soon. Anyone that wants to send me your sparring or whatever, let me know. I can't guarantee I will get to it quickly because obviously there's a lot going on in my life, but send it my way anyways. Okay, shout out to everyone. Bye. Bye.